Love is definitely in the air and we'll show you just how much we adore football. I'm Marielle Benitez. So join us for the next half hour as we make your hearts beat a little faster with all the football action we can provide. I'm Paolo Buendia and this is the United, United Football, football League. League. It's our game. <laughs> There's no love lost between these two squads as they take on each other in the pitch. Now let's find out which team went home heartbroken in our first match of the week. The lone first division match during the previous weekend featuring Navy FC against Loyola Aguila FC was one that pitted the former's experience and aggressiveness against the latter's youth and energy. Navy was looking to bounce back from an opening assignment loss to Kaya FC while Loyola was making its league debut this season. Navy started the contest applying relentless pressure on Loyola, initially rattling coach Carla Rodriguez's boys. The armed forces side had the first crack at goal in the ninth minute, but Loreto Halalang's attempt went wide left of the goalpost. Moments later, Kalalang would be fouled just outside of the box, leading to a free kick attempt for Navy. However, Burn Anthony Kalumpang failed to capitalize as his effort sailed over the crossbar. It took some time for the Loyola 11 to settle down, and when they did, they managed to nearly find the back of the net with goal attempts from Alex Elnar and Gabi Borja in the 16th and 19th minutes, respectively. Just before Elnar was to go inside of the box, he was fouled by Navy's Kalalang, who received a yellow card for unnecessary roughness in the 32nd minute. Gocalo Mateus lined up to take the free kick, but he couldn't break the ice and give his squad the upper hand. Just like the match started, Navy and Loyola entered intermission with a nil-nil scoreline. Fifteen minutes into the reset, Loyola somehow caught their Navy defenders napping as a series of perfectly measured forward passes led to the 16-year-old Borja firing home the match's first goal. Just a few minutes later, substitute Alvin Valeroso found himself unguarded and without hesitation, he blasted home a 30-yard rocket using his left foot that suddenly gave Loyola a 2-0 advantage in the 63rd minute. With under 20 minutes left, Loyola was not done yet as they caught Navy flat-footed anew with Elnar breaking away for his side's third goal of the match. Jimmy Dimzon managed to salvage a goal in the 87th minute, but avoiding a shutout was the best his squad could do as Loyola sank the Navy ship 3-1. For being actively involved in his squad's offensive sets, Loyola Aguilas Gabby Borja is chosen as the man of the match. I saw Alex, he got the ball in the left wing, so I saw that he was he beat his man, so I was looking at him, I saw his eyes, he was look, looking for the pass into the middle. So all I did was, I ran, I ran, I gave, I cut in the middle, and then thankfully he passed it, 
and it was a good pass. I was ahead of my defender. I just waited for it to cross my body. And then I was looking at the ball. I wasn't looking at the goal. Now. And then I just, I just side footed it. But na lang under the legs of the Navy keeper. So I guess may counting lock then. The game plan was very simple. We will now manage number one our rotation because they didn't have enough uh, stamina. Second, we said this time around, since we were now settled, we will now take control of the ball and control of the game. Uh, third, uh, we had a very important replacement, which was power coming in. Uh, that eventually increased. He scored the second goal immediately, and then eventually the, the third goal, he made a beautiful assist. So the rotation helped us a lot. Pangalawang talo ng NBFC. So kailangan pa namin talaga na mag-practice na mag-practice kasi every time na mag-practice kami, hindi kami buo, no? So hindi kami yung, yung maka, makalaro ng 11 aside. 8 players to 10 players lang yung present every time na mag-practice kami, no? So, hirap talaga na ma-organize itong team na to. Sana, every time mag-practice kami, makabuo kami ng 11 aside. What went right and what went wrong? Let's find out the answers to these questions as we break down the match you just witnessed. The first half of the match was dominated by Navy FC, playing most of it on the defending third of Loyola FC. Navy put the defense of Loyola to work with their relentless attack, mostly coming from the right wing. However, unluckily, they never found the back of the net. Loyola FC had a few chances as well with the aggressive dribbling of Alex Elnar and man of the match, Gabi Borja. However, they didn't have the finishing touch on the ball and had all their attempts go straight to Navy's high-flying goalkeeper. Navy started out the second half still dominating possession and exerting their physical pressure on Loyola. There was a big difference though on how Loyola reacted. With substitute power Valeroso in the game, Loyola started to wreak havoc on Navy's defense. His play on the right flank provided a fresh attacking option for Loyola and he did not disappoint. He immediately provided crosses and dangerous runs on the right. Navy's once dominating physical presence slowly disappeared as Loyola exerted more pressure. The opening goal started an 11-minute period of dominance for Loyola as they scored two more goals. The second goal, an absolute screamer from Super Sub Valeroso, while the third goal was a beautifully crafted counter-attacking play which saw Alex Elnar beat the offside trap and take the ball all the way until he beat the keeper. The game subsided after this frenetic pace and both teams enjoyed healthy shares of possession in attempts. Navy could not maintain their style of physical play and relentless pressure for 90 minutes and that cost them. Navy could not muster enough firepower to overtake Loyola, who opened their 2011 season with a convincing victory. There's more football love when we return after this break. I love football because it gives me motivation to do anything I can. I love football because uh, I love football because it's intense and it's very challenging. I love football because I love the score. I love football because this is my uh, life. This is my work. I love football because it uh, keeps me alive and healthy. I love football because of the patience it requires and uh, the preparation and the hard work uh, to get that indescribable goal, the indescribable feeling you get after a goal. And uh, that's what I love about the game.
often set sail for voyages on the high seas, but in the UFL, they are land-based and sometimes go airborne. Anchors away! Get to know more about the Navy FC in this week's Team Profile. The Philippine Navy chronicles our people's strong links to the sea that surrounds and traverses the numerous islands in our country. We shine the limelight on one of our nation's guardians whose pride carries them inland and onto the football pitch. If you take me a dating champion, three times champion sa NCR or battle of champion, uh, matagal ng uh, champion ng team ng Navy, no? kaya lang some of my players na medyo may edad, no? medyo wala na. Yung new blood sa teams kasi most of them are very old na, no? Uh, pero at least nandun pa rin. So kailangan namin maritin itong uh, kahit mag uh, top 3 o top 4 man lang dito sa tournament ng level. Navy FC finished the league last season with 7 wins and 7 losses. Now they are eager to improve on their 2010 campaign. Before kami, since last year pa, no? and then um, the problem, yung problem namin sa Navy is after ng, after ng uh, duty service namin, pag nag-expire yan, balik na naman kami sa unit namin. No? So, mahirap, mahirap. Uh, pag, pag mayroon kami tournament, saka kami mabubuo. Kailangan din namin makuha itong tournament na to para Pakita namin dun sa higher command na at least andito pa rin yung Navy. No? Buhay pa rin yung team ng Navy. Pilit namin binubuhay yung team Navy na magkaroon ng team. No? Hindi yung sarili lang namin. So, binubuhay namin ito is yung team ng Navy na meron nagpapaksipit every, every year. No? Shape up or ship out is a popular maritime slogan. Navy FC takes this to heart as they seek to prove that they also have the advantage over land. Navy may encounter rough seas, but with Coach Zamora at the helm, Navy FC aims to dock their ship atop the league table in 2011. The UFL started with a group of dedicated individuals who had a lot of love and passion for the beautiful game. Check this out. We feel that football is our game. I mean, it, it used to be our game. <laughs> uh, for, uh, for a few decades, basketball has taken over. Uh, we're all sports lovers, and we think there's enough room for both basketball and football to strive. Uh, although we feel um, a gold medal in the Olympics is probably closer in football than it is in basketball. It's our game! It's our game! It's our game! how the Askals play their hearts out and break down their match against Mongolia after these messages. Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia, here we go. My favorite love song is You and Me by Lifehouse. Cause it's you and me and all other people. My favorite love song is um, Wonderwall by um, by um, Oasis, yes. Tell me, babe, you're the one <laughs> going to be the one that saves me. <laughs> Lucky by Jason Mraz. Yeah. I'm someone. <laughs> uh, Lucky I'm in love with my best friend. Lucky to have been where I have been. Lucky to be coming home someday. <laughs> Welcome back. You're watching 
The United Football League, it's our game. Sometimes it takes more than skill and talent to win games. And the Astels showed immense heart when they played against Mongolia earlier this week. And we'll break down their match just for you. We were all treated to our pressure-packed encounter as the Ascals defeated Mongolia 2-0. Once the RP team got a hold of the ball, it always seemed that they could have their way with the young Mongolian team. Aside from two early attempts, which was a result of the RP team giving up the ball, the Mongolians did not provide much threat up front. The Ascals showed off their neat passing game to the home crowd as they sprayed crosses from both sides of the field. Right back Anton De Rosario and midfielder James Young Husband provided from the right side, while Air Force riders Chifi Kaligdong, our man of the match, was a constant menace down the left hand side. He supplied numerous crosses to Ian Araneta and Phil Young Husband, most of which were cleared by the Mongolian defense. Credit goes out to their keeper, but Saikan Arwin Bold, because he kept the visitors in the game with his steady performance. Their defensive tactics worked early on as they smothered RP's attacks with their superior numbers in the back. The red card to Altan Tulga Pagam Surin, however, proved to be their downfall as it affected their tactics slowly. The Askals increased their pressure using their newfound attacking philosophy instilled by Coach Weiss. They have more numbers in attack and do not look disjointed going forward like they did in the previously concluded Suzuki Cup. This led to the opening goal by Shifty Chiffy, who flicked the ball over his defender and placed his shot between the keeper's legs. The game settled during the second half as the Ascals retained the lion's share of possession. Mongolia was content to encamp themselves in front of goal and prevent any more goals leaking in. The RP teams passing from one side to another, looking for an opening, proved to be effective. They spread the Wolves' defense out so that their crosses reached their intended targets frequently. Ian Araneta, however, was a picture of frustration as he could not score on the point-blank opportunities that came his way. In the final minute, Phil Young Husband sealed the win by latching onto a loose ball which started from a momentary lapse in defense from Mongolia. It was a deserved and satisfying victory played in front of an ecstatic home crowd. Coming up next, we'll introduce you to this footballer who's been known to be a heartbreaker. It is hard to my girlfriend from Nusa, Austria ngayon, si Antan. I'm gonna give this heart to the new football fans out there. I'm gonna give this heart to my mom. I'm gonna give this heart to Paolo Buendia. <laughs> I'm gonna give this heart to Cheng, my wife. Uh, she's up there in the midst us. So I'm gonna give this heart to Charlotte Chua. Uh, bibigay ko po yung heart na to sa mga fans ng UFL Football League. Kasi post-poro din ako eh, para magka-match tayo. Hindi tayo tao, hindi tayo hayo. Bagay tayo. <laughs> hey, you come here often? <laughs> Do you play football? Can we play together? <laughs> Alam mo, dati eh. Uh, ganito ka katangkad. Ngayon, nandito na. na. Galing sa utak ko, ngayon nasa puso na. <laughs> Are you a PSP game? Because I hope you're not taken. 
Welcome back! This true blue defender is a perfect example of team loyalty. Let's learn how football makes his heartbeat in our player profile. Pata Zaita, uh, I play center back for the Leola uh, Aguila ADR Kimeng. I've been playing sport uh, almost all my life. Uh, I, I think I started about age seven at the Ateneo Football School, and since then, today, today, yeah, today, today. It's a fortunate accident. Uh, when we were kids, I used to sleep over uh, my cousin's house every weekend. And then one time, sila they enrolled in in Ateneo, in Ateneo Football School, and nang pasama lang ako. Good, good, uh, very good. Um, this league is uh, very promising. It will help the sport grow to popularity. You know? um, alam naman natin din in Asia, tayo lang ata yung hindi football country. And I think that's what the league is trying to do right now. No? Iba yung feeling eh. Um, comparing it to basketball for instance. Every possession, there's a, there's a score, there's a point. No? Parang... Uh, so football, kasi it's, ano, it's, it's, you need to be patient, you need to work for it, work hard for it, and uh, uh, yun lang, and to persevere, and uh, that's, that, that's, that's the practical that I enjoy about it. Hello, Paolo Buendia from Balls TV. Uh, uh, he was my idol ever since, uh, ever since. High school pa lang ako, as, as see, I was watching him play in Ateneo, for Ateneo. As also the center back for the team and uh, he plays with heart, he plays with uh, uh, gusto. Kaya that, that's what I, what I aim to achieve to be like. That's my motto, that's a good one. Hmm. Uh, I guess it would be to play, play with heart, play with heart. That's, that's, that's the only thing. Yeah. If you're trying to think of where to bring your date or significant other, you might want to consider a UFL match. Now here's the schedule of upcoming games to help you out. We don't want to keep you guys from being late for your Valentine's date, like Paolo over here. Uh, sure, Mario, sure. <laughs> anyway, to learn more about the UFL, log on to footballalliance.com.ph or look for LBC United Football League on Facebook. I'm Paolo Buendia. And I'm Mariel Benitez. And this has been the, the United, United Football, Football League. League. It's, it's our game. game.